Okay, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So I have these two areas where I keep all of my makeup and last weekend my daughter and I built those. So I have more room because my eyeshadows are full to overflowing. I can't see what I have. So instead of getting rid of things, I thought I would just add more storage since I have the room. So today we're gonna go through all of my eyeshadow palettes. So if you're interested in seeing what I've got, oh, and I add, I purchased more containers here so I can be semi-organized. Okay, if you're interested in seeing my eyeshadow collection, this is gonna be a long one, so go get yourself a drink, then please keep on watching. Okay, the first thing I did is I moved all my single eyeshadows up here and I added another drawer for that here so that I have all my stick eyeshadows, my um, my Byredo stick shadows here, and some of my bigger single eyeshadows. I put those there. Now let's move on to the palettes. Now I have a ton of just big palettes here, so I'm gonna figure out a way to organize those. So I have these, or I have this empty one, and I think I'm gonna put my larger palettes in here, and then I'll figure out how to store the rest of them. Maybe I'll put my Chanel and Suku products in here. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I purchased a bunch of these organizers here so I can put some eyeshadows in there. So I'm gonna put those in here like this and we'll see how many fit in here. Okay, so I can fit three of these and then I still have space right here for more stuff. I think I'm gonna go down here. Let's see. I'm gonna take some of these out. Ooh, I have my Tom Ford shadows too and my Dior. Hmm, let me get all of these smaller palettes out. Pat McGrath will stay in one place. My Sukus are all gonna move. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This one is a Suku 101. I'm not gonna put these in any particular order, but this is the latest one from the pre-summer release. So I have that. I'm gonna put all the Sukus right here. This one is a Suku 05. This came in the spring collection. This one is the Suku 03 from the spring collection. This one is the 135. Look at how pretty that is. Let me put these over here. One, two, three, four, five. Isn't this one pretty? This one is the number one. This one is the 136. And these are too small for me to put two in one. The organizers are too small for me to put it two in one. This is the number four. I'm not gonna swatch all of these or else we're gonna be here forever. This one is number two. I love these Suku eyeshadows. And this one is the number six. This one was the limited edition one. And this one is 101. I think this is one of the first ones I got. Okay, so those are those. And then what do I wanna put here? Okay, I have four Chanel for now. So let me put these in here. This one is the 226 TC Rivoli. Love this one. This one is the Candor et Provocation. I don't like this one as much because I'm not really into the red tones. This one is the Blurry Green. Love this one. And then this one is the Tissé Essential. I really like this one as well. Gorgeous, great neutral. Then for these, I think I'll go with some of the Dior's that I have. This one is Jungle. This is so fun, and you know I love a green, any green. So that's Jungle. Oh, that doesn't fit that way. I wonder if this one goes. Ah! No, these won't close. Okay, let's see, will they fit sideways? Ah, you guys, that's not even gonna close. Okay. 
Option number two. Okay, I got a bunch of these containers. They're three by 12 maybe from Container Store. So I'm gonna see if these will fit in here. So I'm gonna have to put them in sideways. Oh, bummer. Okay, so take this out. I'll have to use that for something else. So let me put these in. These will fit three. So I'm going to put the other sukus here. Oh, this suku is smaller. Will that fit in there? Oh, that'll fit in there. Okay, so suku's here. But Chanel will fit in like this. This is like plain Tetris. So let me put all the Chanel's here. And will my Dior fit in here? Yes. So let me put the rest of the Dior's in here. So I'm gonna have to put, oh, the Chanel's fit in like this, so that's good. <laughs> Then the, this is another Dior that I have, so I'm figuring this out. This one is the purple one in pink Sakura. Love this too, because this won't fit in sideways. Then I also have this one in Tutu. Love this one. But I think Soft Cashmere is my favorite. This one is Golden Nights, the holiday release. I don't use this one as much as I thought I would. And then this one is soft cashmere. So there's those. Okay, so then I have a Surratt. This is Beyond Beige. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I have two from Chantakai. This one is a La Chrome Eye Duo in Tibet. These are so pretty. Okay, so these will fit in there. And then this one is in Monte Carlo. So those will fit in there. Then I have space right around here. So let's see what I'm going to do for that. I do have this one by Le Rouge Bouge. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna have to do a, my favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna put that right in there. And then I have this one from House of Siage, the Disney collection. This one's beautiful. So let's see if this will fit right here. Okay. So that fits those. Then I'm going to have to take all of this out. Ooh. Oh, I have more suku here. Okay. So let me do this. Let me take all of this out and I'll be right back. Okay, these containers I got from Sunny Cosmetics. These are so great. I'll have them linked down below. I'm gonna clean it with this Novus Plastic Clean and Shy Anti-Fog Anti-Static Dust Repellent. So let me clean this out really quick. Okay, I just finished cleaning this out. I'm putting this back in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my Charlotte Tilbury here in the front. Okay, again, in no particular order. This one is in Pillow Talk. Everyone has this one, right? And then this one is in the Fire Rose. This is a beautiful quad. I think this might be one of her best quads yet. This one is in Supersonic Girl. I don't use this one as much. This one is in Starlight. Guess why I like this one. Luxury palette of pops. This one is in the Golden Goddess. I think I got this free with the purchase. This one is Luxury Palette Green Lights. You know I like this one. This is one of the Flawless Filters Luxury Palette. Eyes of a Star. Isn't that one pretty? This one is in Diva Lights. This one is pretty too. This one is in Star Aura. This one is my favorite out of all of the three. 
This one is Exaggerize Bigger Brighter Eyes Filter. Some of these I haven't used in a really long time. This is Walk of No Shame. I didn't like this one as much as I thought I would. And then here's the Uptown Girl. Like this, I really like this cool tone. Then I have this, the Super Nudes. I really do like this one. It's an easy, great nude palette to travel with, but it looks like I got hard pan here. Isn't that weird? See that? Looks like I got hard pan. Yeah, but it still swatches okay. So there are those. Then I have three of these. This one is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. I love her 12 pan palettes. They come out every holiday and I always get them because I end up using this a lot when it's first released. So there's that one. This was Stars in Your Eyes palette. Isn't that pretty? And this one is in Pillow Talk. I got this one way after it was released and I use this quite a bit too. So there are those three. Let's see, can I fit this in here? Yep. Oh, I have one more. This one, Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. Love this one because you could get four very different eye looks with this. So love that. That doesn't fit in there. I have this Suku Eye Palette. I think this came out in the holidays. I'm gonna put this in here. Let's see. Yeah, that'll fit right in there. Let's see if it closes. Oh good, that closes. And then what I think I'm gonna do right here is put in all my Viseart. So let's go over these. So I have this one. Oh, this is the Color Theory Palette in Chroma. I got this even before I started YouTube. I have this one, the Rose Edit. Love this. But I think my Ferris, Ferris favorite is the Paris Edit, which is this one right here. This is gorgeous. These are my types of colors. So that's the Paris Edit. And then I have this mini in the Solstice. And then this one in Midsummer. I really do enjoy Viseart formula. Then I have the little Petite Four. This one is in Frambois. This one is in Lila. Love that one. This one is in Chocolat. And then this one is in Praline. So those Viseart ones fit right in there. I think I'm gonna put my Victoria Beckham brick. This one is in Signature, her color brick, and up in here too. So let me see if I do it like that. That'll still close. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. I have two of the Huda Beauty, um, these nine pan palettes. I have one in Coral Obsessions. And then I have Mauve Obsessions. So let me put these back here. Oh, those don't fit in there. So I'll put them right there. Okay, then let's go back to this palette or this drawer. I have a bunch of these Too Faced ones and Urban Decay. Too Faced, Too Faced, Urban Decay. So Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay. So out of all the Too Faced ones, uh, this the Natural Nudes is my favorite, so I'm gonna keep this. But the Chocolate Gold, which, this is a good one too, but I just haven't used it for such a long time. And then the Chocolate Bar, I'm not ready to give this up yet. So I'm gonna put these in the very back. This Born This Way, this the Natural Nudes, I'm gonna put back here. I can't pull this out anymore so you can see. Remember this original Urban Decay Naked palette? I still have it and I'm not ready to get rid of it. So I'm gonna put this back here. I'm not ready to get rid of this Naked 3 palette either. This is not a purge, people. This is just a going through my collection and organizing it. I'm not ready to get rid of this Smoky Obsessions. Look at it, it looks brand new. <laughs> That's how much I didn't use it. And then this Naked Honey is one of my favorites from Urban Decay. So I'm gonna keep that as well. I need to bring those out more to play. The two Mel Cosmetics, the Mary Jane. 
And then 420, I love the grungy greens. Okay, keeping both of those. Keeping both of my Anastasia, the Soft Glam Palette, and also the Sultry. The Sultry was one of my most used. So keeping both of those. Let's see. And keeping my Dose of Colors Frankation. Look at that. So pretty. Love that. It's okay. I'm going to keep those. Actually, I'm going to move this down to a lower level. So let me take all of this out. I'm going to take all this out. I'll be right back. With these two and I'm going to put this okay so in this drawer the one I had just filled I'm gonna put the Natasha Denona palettes so I have my Natasha Denona palettes here and I have it in a acrylic organizer that I ordered from Amazon. I'll have these linked down below as well because I ordered a few more. <laughs> so let's go through these. I have the Safari palette. I know this was not well loved in the YouTube community, but I loved it. Loved it. Need to revisit that. I also have the Lila palette. I have the Biba palette. Such a great palette. I have the gold palette. I love Natasha Denona formulas. I have the Metropolis. Now I got this really late, so that's why it still looks new and I dug my finger into there. I have the Trio Chrome. And these don't fit more than one in there, so there's that. I have the Bronze Midi palette, a Love palette. I got this late as well. My favorite, the Glam Palette. Whoa. And then of course, the Sunrise Palette. So I have all of the midi size ones. I'm taking one of these dividers here so this all fits in there nicely. And I'll put these in the back. I took two of these dividers out. This is the nice thing about the ones from Amazon. Then I have her smaller shallots that shallots smaller palettes this one is the mini glam love this one gotta figure out how to fit all these in here this is the mini Met retro i love these greens i bet you're not surprised i gotta figure out a way to get these all in here i have the mini love palette I have, this is one of my favorites, the mini gold palette. I had to press this one back in because it was coming apart. The mini nude palette. The camel palette. This is such a great, great neutral palette. And then the mini Zendo palette. So I don't have all of them, but the ones I do have, I really enjoy a lot. So there are those. So then I have space here and in the back a little bit, so I need to decide what I'm gonna put back there. Actually, I should put this on the side. If I do it this way, then I have more space to put stuff right here. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take one of these Actually, this isn't going to fit anything. I bought the wrong containers for these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Tom Ford palettes in here. So let me show you my Tom Ford palettes. So this one is my Virgin Orchid. I think this is the first Tom Ford palette that I purchased. Then this one is in Iris Bronze. I like his wet to dry formula the best. This one is Meteoric. I think this one is my favorite. Then there's the Visionaire. Then there's the Body Heat. And this one, which I still have in its sleeve. This one is in First Frost. 
This is beautiful. I didn't think I'd like it as much because it's all shimmery shades, but it ended up being gorgeous. And then there's Mercurial. I like the wet to dry formula. So there's that. So I'm going to leave that there. Then let's go on to the next drawer. I'm going to have Pat McGrath in here. So I have another one of these drawers from Amazon. And these are the ones that move up and down. I ordered more of these, but let's go ahead and go through some of these. I have this one, the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. Remember this one? I'm going to put that right back. This is Mothership 5. I think this is the bronze palette. This one is in Mothership 6. This one is so pretty. I need to use these more often. This one is in Mothership... Oh, this one doesn't say. Oh, this one is her first one. Love the Cool Tone palette. This one is in Mothership Ro Divine Rose. This is my favorite. And then this one is in Seven, Divine Rose 2. All of these palettes, remember these? So let's go through these. And look, I have room to grow. I can have three more motherships here, actually four. Okay, so this is Mothership Subliminal. This is my favorite of the six pen, because you know I love a cool tone palette. This one is in Sublime. This one is in Subliminal. This one is in Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation. Bronze Temptation. This one is in Subversive Metamorphosis. This one looks like I haven't used it at all. This one is in, I think this is the Divine Rose. And then this one was for the Lunar New Year, the Golden Opulence. Then I have her quads. And I don't know if these have the names on them. I need to type and write their names on the back of these. Here's one, I can't remember all the names. This one is an Interstellar Icon. This is so pretty with this blue. Some of these have the names and some of these don't. This one is in Risque Rose. I think the newer ones, she's starting to put the names on them. And then this one is an Eternal Eden. Okay, so those are my Pat McGrath ones. Then I have all of this. And then I need to fill this, okay. Okay, I have all of these Marc Jacob ones. Two, four, six, seven. I'm gonna put these back here because I think he's going out of business, but I'm not ready to get rid of this. This is in Scandulust. This one is in Fantasy. This is my favorite Fiverlux. In Glambition, in Editorial, in Provocateur, and then the last one I have is in Stiletto. I think this might be my favorite. So I have all of those, and that's sad that Marc Jacobs might be going out of business, but since I won't be using a lot of that, unless I'm doing a get ready with me, I'll just put those back there. Oh, I forgot to add the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. So let me put that in here. So there's the Zendo palette. So then, let's see. I need to put the rest in here. I purchased more of these acrylic organizers from Amazon. So let me bring you in closer. So I'm going to put this down here. And let's go ahead and start organizing the rest. Okay, so here's some of mine that I need to organize. 
And these are my larger palettes that I need to store, my Syrah Beauty, my ColourPop, Stone Cold Fox, and Bare Necessities. So these I'm just going to lay back here. Ooh, I forgot I have the Charlotte Til Tilbury, the Icon palette. So let me put this with the Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so I'm putting this in here with the Charlotte Tilbury. And then my favorite nudes palette is from Artist Couture, the Supreme Nudes. That'll go right up front. Oh, I have this Tom Ford face palette, the Shade and Illuminate face and eye palette in Intensity 2 Moonlit Violet. Love this. So I need to put this with my Tom Ford shadows right there. Here's the KKW um, eyeshadow palette in Crystallized. So there's that. I'll put this right here. And then I have another KKW one. This one is in Smoky Volume 1. I really like that one as well. I'm going to put in the Tiny Marvels palette right behind it. The Oma Beauty Coming to America. This is a pretty palette. The Colored Rain. I think I recently used that one, the Safari palette. Hold we'll that close. That'll barely close, so let me put that on the side here. The Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I haven't used that in a long time. I have all of the Makeup by Mario. So this one is the Shimmers Metallic, Master Metallics. Then I have the Master Metals. And then I also have the Master Mattes. I find myself using the Master Mattes the most. So there's that. I have the Star Wars Mandalorian palette. I have the Winky Lux Coffee palette. Got a lot of ColourPop. Oh, the True BK Beauty. I have this Shantakai Safari palette. This didn't perform that well on me, but I use it as a soft one and done. So let me put this with these up here. I have the Wayne Goss Pearl Moonstone. I got this in my Lucky Box. Ended up very pretty. I also have his other one, Imperial Topaz. Oh, this is such an old one. Atomic Blonde from NARS. I loved this for so long. Not ready to get rid of that. Love this Nude Pop by Kevin Aquan. I use this for a really long time. Won't get rid of that. I have this by KKW Beauty. This is the, I don't know, it just says eyeshadow palette. Keeping that. I have Going Coconuts by ColourPop. This is one of my favorites from ColourPop. That right there. Wild Nothing by ColourPop. Making Moves by ColourPop. This is the Ofra and Samantha March Life's a Draft. At Forest Sight with Raw Beauty Christie. Give It to Me Straight. The M Cosmetics Divine Skies palette. The Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And then this one I'm going to declutter because I don't know where it came from. It's the Itsy. I'm going to declutter that. As well as the Elf Bite Size and Berry Bad. I thought I'd gotten rid of all of these, but I still have this one, so I'll get rid of these two. Okay. Oh, no. That's not closing. Okay, there you have it. That is my eyeshadow collection. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.